afternoon, Pep. Um, Crystal Palace coming up next. They were unlucky against Liverpool. You've had some tough games against them in the past. What are you expecting from Roy Hodgson and his team this weekend? Always have been a tough game, so it will be a tough game. Definitely. How they defend is brilliant. And uh, they don't need much set pieces with Anderson and the other guys. And it will be a tough, tough game. How was I being here? I don't remember easy, easy games against Roy Hodgson teams. With Patrick Bader neither, but especially with Roy. With Roy, he's had such a long and lengthy and successful managerial career. He's been managing at the top level for, for many years. Do you see yourself managing when you get to Roy's age at, at that level? I don't think so. I don't think so, but who never knows. It is quite phenomenal, isn't it? Some the his Absolutely. achievements. Have the fire and the passion inside to still be in there. You know, and uh, the teams are so really good. So they played incredibly well against Liverpool. Unfortunately, was sent off. Ten against eleven at Liverpool was almost impossible. But with eleven and eleven, I don't know what's going to happen. What will happen? The academy here was was opened nine years ago, 2014. How important is that academy for the sustainable future of this football club? And tell us how far you think Oscar Bob and Micah Hamilton can go after their performances last week. Well, Oscar is a player for the first team. Micah is a second team, so we need him. But his place is there. But this is really good. The impact what he has in the in the game. So all the big clubs, the academy is. Uh, it's an important part of, of, of many things, not just... So, you just see what happened in the last five, six years with academy players when help us to us, otherwise they make a, a career away with a good transfer for the clubs and to be sustainable economically and, and financially. And, and, and I know how important it is for our fans, for our people, Identify, identify. You know the young, young lads like uh, Rico, like Phil, Mike as well. So all of them come from, 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 from yeah, from the seven, eight, nine year, years old, and after being already in the first team, is something phenomenal. So continue to work on that, and hopefully in the future we can we can have more players than that, than this. A change of tone, Pep, maybe staying in the game till 80 years old. In the past, you've, you've kind of said no and written it off, and you've just told us we never know. About, sorry? About you staying in the game till the age of 80. You've told us in the past. No, 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 I say I don't think so. But the guys, the future, no, no, what happened, but I don't think so. Um, can I ask you about Jack Grealish? He, he told us in an interview last week that he recognises he's one of about three players that only has one position on the pitch, but wants to learn new roles. How much are you, you working on that with him? Listen, we don't have time to work. <laughs> so, yesterday recovery and today is pretty much, you know, pretty much. And we don't have time. It's just to understand, intelligent players understand sometimes without the training session. Of course, we sometimes with 10, 15 minutes, we can, we can do it. But Jack is so a smart player and can get it immediately. So there is the option that he, he plays he can play multiple positions and I know that's something you yeah, like. Yeah, of course. The good players can play in different positions, can play in the middle, of course. He's a typical number ten, I would say, Jack, no being the striker free, you know, but also adapt you know, Aston Villa plays a winger and he as well, so can play in different positions, of course. In the beginning of the season when the beginning when he arrived, I remember Watford, I think so, playing a false nine and he felt comfortable, so he can play in different positions, yeah. How do you assess him uh, this season from his form at the end of the second half of the campaign to perhaps a slower start in the first part of the season to two goals in his last two games? How, how do you view Jack Grealish? That's important, always with the man. So Jack has to demand himself, score goals, winning games, make assists. Another quality he has, you know, to keep the ball and give an extra passes. And after the next step is that. It's important the last two games to score goals. And, and uh, yeah, start a little bit... Uh, a little bit late, and many things happened. Injuries, and after we okay, injured again. So, and hopefully he can, you know, keep keep or, or take the rhythm as quick as possible because absolutely we need him. Hi, Pep. Um, Erling Haaland has obviously been a big absence for you. What's the latest on his condition? Will we see him in the squad for Crystal Palace? Arrived, arrived today. 
and we see the doctors. They will they will see him, and we will see how does he feel. Has he been away for some sort of treatment this week, or what's he been? Yeah, doing? I have been in treatment away. Yeah, yeah. And when you've heard back from the doctors before he went away, when he was assessed, hopefully he can travel to Saudi Arabia tomorrow after the game, and I think he's going to to travel with us. And after we see if he's able to play the first game or the second, or when we come back. That sounds very much like then you don't think he's going to be available to play this weekend. I don't think so, but. Maybe surprisingly, they tell me something new, but I don't think so. How much of a worry is this injury? Are you worried about it at this no. point or not? It's not fracture, it's just stress. Uh, and sometimes those players recover quicker, sometimes longer. So day by day, I said, the doctors say, have to take day by day, week by week, how, how, how he feels. The moment he doesn't have symptoms or doesn't feel pain, he'll be ready to play again. Um, Pepper wanted to ask, it was announced yesterday that Rebecca Welch will become the first female referee in the Premier League over Christmas and also Sam Allison, the first black referee in 15 years. What was your reaction to that news? Excellent idea. More yeah. than welcome. Hopefully in the future can be more. Yeah, I mean, we see female referees at high level in the Champions League and in international football. You, you, does, it, does it begin to feel normal now? I, 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 uh, in Germany, years and years ago, it was not the Champions League in Bundesliga. It was a referee, so or for official or close there. So everybody's involved, more involved. So it's good. Thank you.